Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Alright. Give me a little tweaker light here. Last train home. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> so we have one here from Shiner. It's called Tex Hex Passion Fruit Hazy IPA, coming in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. It's a IPA brewed with cactus water, hibiscus, and passion fruit with natural flavors added. They're from Shiner, Texas. It has a date of... Best by date of 8, 21, 24, okay? So it's pretty darn fresh. Today's 4, 15, 24. So it's very fresh. Um, I picked up a six-pack of this at um, Total Wine and More for like, I think it was like 12 bucks out the door. Last train home. That's what the can looks like. Okay, so I've uh, never had it before until like I picked it up, but I had some yesterday, but I'll go ahead and review this now and try to give a description of this puppy. Okay. I do like the regular Tex Hex, Tex, Tex Hex IPA that they have. It's pretty darn good. <clears throat> All right, there we go. And we have a pretty tight head there. Frothy, creamy, silky. Yep, little tiny bit foamy. And we have a kind of a copperish, copper, dirty, copper, amber, kind of, it's got a little pink tint to it almost. But more like a murky copper. Okay. Looks dark in the camera, but pretty nice tight head. Darker looking beer. Let's check out the aroma. Right up front, you're getting the, the hibiscus and passion fruit like big time. And even some of that cactus type water. Lots of floralness. Got whistle nose. Floralness. Passion fruit. Little grapefruit, but hibiscus and passion fruit big time. It's different smelling, very different. It's very good smelling. Let's check out the sip. Cheers. Okay. <clears throat> you pick up same notes as the aroma, but you're getting like a a tanginess in the sip like a tartness but it's a yummy kind of it's the passion fruit that you're picking up that kind of tartness that passion fruit has it's very good beer it's very different it's a very unique beer it's not a sour, not quite to a sour, but kind of has like that tart kind of character. No booziness or nothing like that. Uh, probably a medium mouthfeel. 
the hibiscus is coming through big time also. It's very smooth. Good, good head retention. It's a little lace in there on the glass. It's a pretty tasty beer. I mean, um, very unique and different. I like it. It's very good. It's almost like some kind of a soda pop juice, sort of. It's yummy. Almost like a, almost like a touch of mango, also. We'll swell it one more time. We'll wrap this puppy up. Keep it short and sweet. Very creamy, yummy, fruity. It's very good. It's got a nice sweetness to it. I mean, I enjoy it. I would buy this again for sure. I like it. So that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, on a scale of one to five stars, two and a half B and C average, I think it's a pretty memorable beer, and I would buy this again. Um, I'm gonna go four four and a half stars. It's I think it's that good. So if that sounds like something you would like, try to get it as fresh as possible and uh, enjoy it if you can get it. So thank you for stopping by. Like, subscribe, little bell for notifications. I really appreciate it. Cheers. Have a nice day. See ya.